All right, so we are in Fred. And we got Hillbilly behind us in the Freightliner with the, not the Snowcat, I bet that's the Snowcat. No, he's got the, oh my gosh, the skid steer. I can't even think correctly. It's a Monday. Okay, got the skid steer loaded up. All strapped down, now we're heading to Maverick to get fuel because we have a recovery to go on. Uh, Robbie said it's something somewhere up Wells or something. Wells Canyon, because we've got a recovery to go on. So I got a buddy named Western Wheeler. He just gave me a call, said, hey, we got a truck that went off the side of the road this morning. We've got it rolled back up, but we just can't get it back up the hill. Got a couple of Jeeps connected to it. So he said, let's get your skid steer. Let's pull that baby up. I'm like, hey, no problem. We got it loaded. We're headed up there with Fred because we don't know if Fred needs to assist or not and whatever. Me and Colt need to ride up the mountain, so Fred it is. Anyway, we're gonna stop at Maverick, fuel up, grab a couple drinks, you know, the usual, and we're gonna head up to Wells Canyon. But if this is the spot I think it is, I've got a story for you guys. <laughs> Every good recovery starts at Maverick. Recovery's first stop. Or adventure's first stop, something like that. All right, so no big deal. Hillbilly's just blocking the entire parking lot with the Freightliner. So uh, he, we're gonna let him just act like he's by himself with him. Oh, sh there he is. Hi. Hi. Oh, you need money. How much? How much? 14 gallons. That means old boy was almost empty. It's a good thing we got filled up. So Hillbilly's working on the Freightliner and then he's gonna fill the cat up and then we're on our way to Wells. All right, the old freight liner took 22.5 gallons. Now we gotta fill kitty cat up. It's not the kitty cat. Oh yeah, it's the cat cat. It's a 259D. So, got a skid steer. What? Good. Oh. All right, we got all fueled up, snacked up. Didn't really get any snacks. Ended up talking to somebody that I know. Anyway, so we are on our way to Wells Canyon. So I talked to you guys a little bit earlier about the fact that something crazy happened up here. Well, last year, we did a recovery on a Ford truck. The kid was hauling, actually the guy that owned the bulls, his name was Wyatt. And he was hauling Wyatt off the top of the mountain because Wyatt was having a seizure. So they were hauling butt, he ended up rolling off the mountain and I think this is the same spot. So we were contacted to go up and get the truck and bring it to Ephraim. So we filmed it, it was all good. Well, anyway, later that day, we got a call from the sheriff because we got reported for stealing this truck. Huh. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of that. I'm hoping it's in the same spot. We'll find out when we get there, but we didn't steal it, but we learned a really good lesson because it was the uncle that contacted us and told us to go and get it. Well, the father, he was so mad. He called the cops on us, said that we stole it, said that he had another company up there. I mean, it took us like six hours to go up and get this truck. Nobody came up. I mean, we waited two days. It was the craziest situation. Anyway, so we never showed you guys that, but I'm gonna show you a little bit of it. It was the first day we got the Freightliner and we had to borrow a skid steer. We didn't even own the cat yet. I mean, it was, it's like back in the OG days. So anyway, we'll be there shortly and light me a little bit more. Two and a half hours later at Maverick, we're finally on the road heading to Wells, Utah. All right, so we just made it to Wells, Utah. Beautiful Wells. Beautiful Wells. Dad, I'm just gonna tell you the truth. Fred's losing its brakes. So we're gonna have to do something with that. Uh, out on the highway, <laughs> just about didn't stop. Anyway, we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to talk to Hillbilly, but luckily I got Colt and co-piloting oh, today. Yeah. You're not gonna see the boss in this video. She's home with some sick kids. So unfortunately, Lincoln was up all night throwing up last night. He's just caught himself a little tummy bug, but we're hoping he gets better in the next little bit so we can see her on the channel again. So don't worry, she's coming back. She's just off being a mother, which we love. So right up here, we're gonna have no choice but to unload the skid steer and Hillbilly's gonna be driving it up because we've taken the Freightliner up this canyon before and it's no fun. And we don't really feel like getting it stuck and then having to get it unstuck or anything like that. Back it in and just flip around. You're gonna drive up. Remember the last time taking the Freightliner up? It was last year when we did that Ford recovery. It just don't like it. No. So let's just unload here. Yeah, that's right. My job here is done.
All right, take off. We'll be right behind you. This is gonna be slower than us. All right, hillbillies, hillbillies hit the road. Um, we're gonna leave the truck here, so we'll run and shut it off, and then we're following him and Fred. Okay, so I'm ahead, because this is a lot slower. They're getting the truck shut off, the, the tow truck shut down, and then they'll be right behind me. I don't like the view I have, because that metal gray kind of makes me car sick. I'll show you why. It's been a minute since I've had to drive this on an up a dirt road on up a canyon. About how rough it was. So the road's really, well, it's got snow packed and it's a little icy. So I'm waiting for Hillbilly to get up the hill because I'm going to hit this. This track skid loader is going to make it up a lot better than Fred. I mean, that was a little, a little extreme, a little unnecessary, but you know what? We like to have fun. So as you can see, we're all iced up, so we gotta lock the hubs in. Hillbilly's struggling. Let me move. Hey, Billy, crank that back track. Try it again, cause you're right in the bank. If you can go back to the bank, it'll flip you. Oh my God. So this whole road is like an ice skating rink. It's crazy. Look at that, straight ice. But we're almost there. We just got to go around this corner right up here. Some of the guys were walking down, so I imagine it's close. So Hillbilly's trying to come up on this far side where the snow's a little bit deeper. Maybe he can get some tracks. All right, so I'm gonna go move Fred. Fred's basically just here as an assist. This'll do it. Um, we're gonna wanna put this up in the hole. I'm gonna get out of the way, but I can't go too much further because there's ice. This whole corner is ice. So back up a little bit and get a run at it. Well, that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm just gonna go past their winch line and then stop. But we have to get you up there and then back you into that hole. As long as I stay on the drive. So, and line. this is the exact spot right here. Don't fall. This is the exact spot, like I thought, where that Ford went off that we stole. So, right here. Okay, we finally made it to where the truck is and it is exactly where it was rolled, where the Ford was rolled that we got accused of stealing. But it's a very icy hill right back there. No matter what I did, it would start going and then slip like this and start going down the hill sideways. So I'd have to even put the bucket down or the winch down, get the claws to stab into the ice and stop me. But I was able to get back up on the hill far enough, back up on the hill far enough that I could turn and shoot down forward to a flatter spot. It was still icy, but it's flatter. And so I was able to get turned around, punched it, started climbing and went from the I side to the soft snow. Once I started running out of soft snow, luckily there was mud on the other side. So I had to zigzag back to the other side, which is the hillside where it was dirt and mud. So now I got traction. So now let's hope that we can get this to do what we needed to do, which I know it will and get out of here. Oh, 
You, and you. You're gonna be famous now. <laughs> well, I didn't roll anything. <laughs> no, you made a phone call. So we made it up here. We found the truck. So they've already been working on it. They got it rolled all the way back up on its wheels. Um, but on this ice, there's no good place to anchor. So it was just pulling the vehicles. So they called us. We've got the skid loader. This is Weston from Peak Outdoors. Look him up. We got a YouTube as well. <laughs> That's right. So check them out. They do RV repair. They do an awesome job. So Kyler was driving the Ranger. As you can see, he high marked it. But with this ice, it just started coming back. Luckily, he was able to get out of the vehicle before it rolled down the hill. So there was no injuries, luckily. But now we just have an injured truck. So we're going to get it pulled back up and get him back down the mountain. Use your strap, then we left work. Now it's getting worse, or it can go above. You just gonna hook up? Um, <laughs> yes, I think I am just gonna hook up. Okay. Tell him to go out. Just because then we can, where we need to get it up past the ice. Yeah. All right, so we did have a strap hooked up, but we took it off because we need to get this thing up the ice as far as possible so we can shoot it back down the hill. So anyway, find a spot, get it hooked up. I'm just gonna go right around the hitch and pull from there. That'll give us plenty of room. I'm gonna pull on both frame rounds. Should be good. What we'll do is we'll get, get this hooked up and then have Hillbilly tighten up the cable and get some pressure on it before I get in. Okay, stop. Was it moving the skid loader at all? No. Good. All right, so we've got it all tied up. It's tight, so I'm gonna jump in it and hope for the best. All right, so let's have Hillbilly start getting it pressured up and then you're our command center. Command center. That's right. Captain Sano. All right, cool. Tell him to tighten it up. You want to have him tighten it up? Good. I know, yeah. Here we go. All right, let's hope for the best. All right, so it's going up pretty good. Hopefully it doesn't let loose, but Colton's kind of my eyes because I can't really see anything because I'm on this hill. So it's going pretty good though. Oh, hold up. That tree's rich. We're going to rip that. This point. Just go. Okay. I'll crank the wheel so it wants to bring the front a little bit, but. Okay. How big's the tree? It's just ripping that dog box. Well, the dog box is. You okay. okay with that? I mean, it is a little bit destroyed. We'll have to go back down and try to adjust over. No, let's just go for it. Okay, go. Kind of hoping the shackle would break. <laughs> well, I was like, God, he's brave in that. I remember your derby guy. I said, I'm not <laughs> sure where I bought that shackle from. That might... I was actually thinking that as I was hooking it up. I was like, oh, that'll be good. Like, yeah, it yeah. Breaks. I don't know. That's fine. We'll just get all the way off the ice and then have him unhook. Snatch blocks, double your power, and I think we could pull a semi straight up a cliff. To tell you the truth. All right, so it, it worked out. Um, I was able to put it in gear and back up. So we should be able just to drive it down the mountain with hopefully no more issues. So luckily this Amazon shackle held tight. Ah. Here you go, sir. We'll have to have Yankum send you some. Oh, you don't <laughs> trust these ones. But hey, it did the job. So if it works, it's not stupid, yeah. right? All right, I'll watch for him in the mail. <laughs> All right, so that wasn't too terrible. Um, we're gonna get this winch cable wound back in, but 
it was winding itself in correctly, so must have done something right today. Usually Mondays don't go very well, but on the last recovery, when we were up here in this exact spot, stealing a truck, I think we had all sorts of issues. We had to use the side puller on the freight liner. We had to use my buddy Antonio's skid steer. That was when we had the orange Kubota, but you know what? It went just like it should. It went, everything went perfect so far. Now we gotta get us down without slipping and sliding, especially the skid steer, because it doesn't have much for traction. All right, so we got a game plan to head down the mountains. So we got the Ranger going. It was able to go into gear. When they're on a steep incline, there's an inertia switch or whatever that doesn't allow it to go into gear. So we got it up here, engaged. He's headed down. We're gonna get the Tacoma headed down. Hillbilly's gonna get up in that hole, and then the Jeep's gonna go down, and then we're gonna get Fred and kick him around we're down the mountain. So another successful recovery. Um, if you guys are in central Utah and you get stuck in the snow and the ice and the mud, let us know. We'll come out and help you get out of a bad situation. We love doing this and we want to meet you guys. So if you get a bad situation, we're here to help. You know, we're not here to make fun. You know, we want to try to make this entertaining and make light of a bad situation. You know, especially where this is a traumatic event. You know, rolling a vehicle, it's no fun. Luckily, no injuries, but anyway, everything went perfect. So I'm pretty happy about that. We'll get him up in the hole and get down here. <laughs> oh, the dog just got <laughs> oh. oh, get ready, we're sliding. So we got it down. So we appreciate you calling us. Yeah, thank you. So glad nobody got hurt and no animals were injured. So that's great. So anyway, as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoy this video, go check out this one. You point wherever you want. Perfect. <laughs> It'll stay there. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, Bill, you hear me? Loud and clear. Over and out. <laughs>